drove on to Port's life. I am here at a place called Rose Isle Station. It's apparently on the Wilcannia Bree Warrener Road on the Darling River, but let me just tell you, it's closer to Louth. So it's 70, 70 k's south west of Burke and 30 k's east of Louth. Now, I'll tell you what, you can have unpowered and powered sites. Powered's about $34 a night and unpowered's 12 bucks. You gotta get your, gotta come out and visit. I'm sitting here in the camp kitchen. Now, it's got running water, it's got gas, it's got a microwave, it's got a fridge freezer, it's got a fireplace with two reclining chairs, hello. It's got a futon, it's got a massive dining table. We've got a pizza oven. Oh, it's pretty hot. Just there, oh, well, you've got a fire pit. Now, just there's the river, and I can't see it, but somewhere over there where my finger is, there is actually a seat. Now, as you know, the Darling River's in flood, so it's not exactly the best time to go walking. But there's even a kayak over there that I can just use. Like, it's fantastic. Um, luscious green grass, for those two of you who want to know that, and there is crispy blue sky. Now, if you go to the homestead, this is a working sheep station. Can't say I've seen any sheep, but there is some here, I've been told. Now, up there at the homestead, fascinating family, rustic charms. You should see it. For a city slicker like me who's come to live in the bush, I never really appreciated how what rustic is. And I don't really like rustic because to me it's like old and dirty. But when you come out to countries or country towns and, and bush places like this, you really do appreciate the value of the rustic charm that's here. If you go up there into the gardens, there's all these little rustic creatures and, you know, dangly things hanging, wind chimes hanging from the, the trees, bird feeders. There's a pool, water, electricity. I'll tell you what, you've got to come out here. Best bit. Got me own Lou. So, Rose Isle Station. Darling River Run. Joe Bond checking out.